Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, the Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying match. Uh, today we'll be tying a old searching pattern, uh, the 52 Buick. Uh, it's quite an old pattern uh, for North America. Uh, I'm not quite sure of the, orient, uh, the uh, origins of this fly, but uh, I know I was one of the first flies I ever used in a lake back in the, well, I guess the late 80s. Um, so uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely a searching pattern. It can be taken for many different things, damsels, dragons, leeches, uh, caddis fly, all kinds of stuff. So uh, today I'll be tying it in an all green pattern. Sometimes this one usually comes with a, uh, uh, the white and barred mallard flank, white and black, um, but I'm gonna be doing it all green. So I'm gonna start off with a Hens BL724 in a size 10. Any, um, you know, nice size 8, 10, 12 uh, streamer hook is good for this. Um, for the uh, tail and throat, I will be using some olive mallard flank. Um, for the main part of the body, I'm changing it up a bit. Um, uh, for the main part of the body, I'm going to be using some dirty bug yarn in a, in a pale dirty olive. And then for the thorax section, I'm just going to be using a little bit of, uh, sorry, peacock curl, right? Let's get on with it. Uh, do I? Yeah, no, I don't have any. I was going to just see if I had any uh, green nano silk available, but I don't. I only got a tiny little bit left, and I don't want to run out in the middle of a video, so let's use the black. I use, I use black in, in its place. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just use um, a white thread, and then I'll just use a felt, right? So, start off with a, a little bit of the uh, green mallard flank here. Because you want to, you want to make a tail here. So there's a few ways you can do this, um, and that's with mallard flank in general, not just this fly. Um, if you're wanting to make a tail, you can just take it like it is, and just lay it on, and there's your tail. Or you can actually strip it off of the uh, the center barb or the center stem, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to spread it out, and I'm going to take it off of the center stem. So. Just kind of peeling it and then stacking it on top of each other, peeling it, stacking it on top of each other until I get the one side off. Let's see if that's going to be enough for what I want. It should be. Because this way you get a little bit scragglier of a tail, and I want that for this fly. Um, it'll, it'll, get, it'll streamline itself in the water. So, but I just do want to try to line up some of these tips as close as I can, at least. So, I want about the length of the hook shank past. So, a little bit more than that. So, about there. Just going to let that tie that on right on top there. Just double check it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, now I'm just going to open wraps all the way forward leaving a little bit of a gap in front and then I can cut all that off on an angle and now I'm just going to make sure my thread is flattened and then I'm going to come all the way back over top of this okay now to to stop any sort of um, the tail getting caught around the, the hook. Lift this up, go in behind it, over top, in behind, and over top. That'll help keep that tail up and out away from that, uh, away from the, uh, the hook, okay? So now I will take, and I forgot to grab this out, but I can grab that real quick. Take some copper wire in a medium so I just took some medium copper wire here and I'll grab my junky scissors same thing come back to the front here lay it in on my side tie that in nicely just keep it on my side slash the top oh, sorry guys darn light I'm gonna 
wax this thread a bit because wire can be slippery especially this bigger wire so just keep that up like I said on the top slash side of the fly and then keep that out of your way and then I'm going to take some of this dirty bug yarn Now this dirty bug yarn, you can see it's kind of scraggly. You can really make this like if you want to make leeches and that kind of thing, you can uh, you can scruff this out for this fly. I want it not scruffy, but not uh, like a cord either, kind of right in between that. You'll see what I mean. So I'm not going to really brush this out very much. So nice, good, tight um, wrap at the back end. I'm touching wraps, but I'm almost just slightly overlapping. I'm oh, sorry, I went a little bit too far there. I forgot I gotta put another. So there, about to there. Nip that off. So now it's a little bit scraggly. I'm just gonna give it the slightest touch with my Velcro, just get it a little bit of a scraggle going on in there. There, that's about it. Just a little bit. Then I'm going to take a couple of pieces of my peacock curl. And sometimes I'll tie these with peacock dubbing instead here, because I find peacock dubbing lasts a little longer. Uh, curl can be pretty, um, pretty brittle and pretty sensitive. Um, but the traditional uh, original pattern is with curl. So that's what I'm going to tie today. So I'm just going to take like three or four strands of hurl here. I'm going to tie it in. And then I'm just going to make sure I give these a bit of a rough up with my nail. I want them to I want that to poke out a bit. And go just go slightly over top of that uh, that dirty bug yarn. Bring it to the front. Lock it in. Hold it back. Lock it in. And then I can cut that off. Now I could have, it depends on the way you want to tie it. If you wanted to do it the traditional way, I would have taken my rib, my copper rib, and done it before I put the peacock in. But I, like I said, I always find peacock is so brittle. I like putting the rib right through the peacock. So it's not exactly traditional. Normally you'd stop right there, but I'm going to go right through the peacock. Just one or two turns through it. very well let's just uh, make sure that wires tied really well there we go so now I'm just gonna hold it I'm gonna helicopter helicoptering for those that are new to that helicoptering off is just a, a, a better way because that way you don't you usually not end up with a, a sharp corner that you can end up uh, cutting the uh, your thread with. I'm just going to reposition this a little bit because it slipped on me. So now I just got to create a little bit of a throat. So I'm going to take that same feather that I had from earlier that I stripped off and I'm going to strip off again from the other side. I'm going to strip off some some fibers. Excuse me. Just putting them down below me here because it's a little easier. 
and I don't want quite as many as I had for the uh, for the tail. And with these, I'd like to have them lined up the same way. I don't want them quite as scraggly as the back. I want them lined up, lining up the same way. So I'm stack, kind of stacking them on the... So you see that they've got a bit of a natural curve. So I'm just going to... I want it to come to about the tip of the hook. About there. So I'm just going to lay this on my side and hold it with my fingers. And tie it in. Two, three turns and then I'm gonna make sure it sits right on the bottom there so I'm just moving it so it sits right on the bottom and then I'll check my length it's a little too long I'm just gonna pull that back there that's better okay and then I'm just gonna do a quick little whip finish right there Turn my fly, nip off my waist piece here. Just build a little bit of a head. I could have come just a tiny bit further ahead there with my uh, peacock, but that's fine. Nip that off. And like I said, that is your 52 Buick. Um, it's a pretty simple pattern. Um, I could have actually, you know what? I'm gonna nip this a bit. I think that's a little too full. I put a little bit too much in the in the throat there. So I'm just gonna nip that off. I didn't notice how much was there. You don't want that much in the throat. So I mean that's fly tying, right? You can always remove a bit there that's a little bit better it's almost too much gone now but um yeah so that's uh that's the 52 buick it's it's a fairly simple fly to tie um and again you can take your brush and rough that up that that dirty bug yarn um or dubbing or whatever even a wool that you use and just get that nice and rough and scraggly Alrighty, simple tie not the prettiest works like a charm um if you like that give her a thumbs up uh if you've subscribed thank you if you have not please consider doing so once i reach a thousand subscribers i'll be giving away a copy of my books and a selection of flies from this channel so uh spread the word tie lines everyone